can our leaders do to win the public trust so that they could pay their taxes voluntarily? And the answer is simply a transparent taxation system. In that regard, tax transparency is a hot debated issue in the entire globe. Ladies and gentlemen, the management of tax administration is a global phenomenon. The world is all about emulation by looking at what other countries of the world are doing to boost their economy through taxation. The point I'm making here is that we should join other countries of the world to boost our economy through taxation. Is it achievable is a question I asked, and I said yes, it's achievable, because we have all it takes to keep our GDP as our reserve. Ladies and gentlemen, the blueprint of a good taxation system is transparency, efficiency, effectiveness, and accountability. How to achieve this is simple, to have a restructured tax, tax administration by having the tax collector, that is in bracket FIRS, and the independent tax auditors and investigators, in other words, the external scrutinizers. The National Inspector General for Tax Crime Commission if enacted, will do that job. E.g., the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, and the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration ticked of the United States. The Her Majesty Revenue and Custom, HMRC, and the House of Common Treasury Committee, HTTC, plus Ombudsman of United Kingdom, and the Australian Tax Office, ATO, and Inspector General of Taxation and Ombudsman, IGT, plus O, of Australia. Our MPs must, told, must be told that in the course of our visit to all the CGO political zone of the Federation, we were able to find out that our people are no longer comfortable on whoever is going to be the next president come to 23. So it is high time our MPs should stop the blame game and work as a team to restructure our taxation system because there is no partisan politics when it comes to taxation business. Meanwhile, the argument of my group and I was for a transparent taxation system that will protect the taxpayers' rights, expand the tax net, share automatic information with the OECD, which the Federal Airline Revenue Service cannot do alone. The Federal Airline Revenue Service always proved me right in their actions because the former chairman, Mr. Batunde Fowler, used EFCC in his time to go after taxpayers. Today, the sitting chairman, Mr. Mohamed Mohamed Maman Nami, is using the ICPC to go after the taxpayers. But it is laughable for anyone to think that the criminality in taxation is limited to taxpayers alone. Know that we are still operating in outdated taxation law of 1939. Let's have a look at some government reforms in the past. A, the 1978 Tax Force on Taxation, headed by Allah Yishewu Musa, recommended first, the withholding tax WHT regime, second, imposition of 10% special levy on bank excess profit, third, imposition of 21-22% turnover levy on buildings and construction companies. This was during the first rule of General Luis Aguino The 19 92 study group on indirect taxation needed by Dr. C. Vesta Hugo recommended the policy shift from direct to indirect slash consumption VAT evolved. This was a very good move by General Ibrahim Babangida because he followed exactly what other countries of the world were doing in their tax administration then. It is most unfortunate that these reforms and ideas were made during the military era. But from the inception of democracy in 1999 to date, our legislators have not visited tax in more efficient manner. In that regard, the Federal Inland Revenue Service were made to be a judge in their own case, which must result an obvious temptation and work overload in that respect. Our outdated method of taxation is no longer obtainable in the world. The risk of the risk posed by electronic service delivery ESD has proven that countries no longer have the luxury to operate in isolation. So any country that fails to innovate will suffer benefit 
in tax, taxes like the transfer pricing. What we are demanding is for the National Assembly to fast track this bill so as to rekindle our people's lost confidence in our government. I want to use the opportunity to let our youths know about what our former president, President Ibrahim Babangida, said in his latest birthday message to the youths that they should shun violence and engage the federal government with a new argument, which is what I am doing with my group. This press briefing will be incomplete without mentioning the man behind the mask in the sponsorship of our bill in the National Assembly. Honorable Benjamin Okeze Kalu, Ben the Federal Constituency, APC Adia. My group and I are using this opportunity to thank you, sir, for the effort you have made in bringing this bill to the point of second reading. I only want to plead with you, sir, to use your good office to persuade the Honorable, the Honorable Speaker, right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, and the House to fast track this bill because the election year is near. Meanwhile, I wish to remind the House of Representatives and the Senate to know that whichever person that will be the next president from whichever party should know that he or she is not coming to us to rock with his or her own money. In that regard, a well-structured taxation system should be in place to allow the good intended person to perform. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to stop so far because if I am permitted to continue to count the benefit in the establishment of National Inspector General for Tax Crime Commission, several pages will not be enough. Who would be there to, meet, to, 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 to close the gap between the Federal Land Revenue and the public? Ordinarily, they are not supposed to interact. Nobody, the, the taxpayer shouldn't interact directly with the... Somehow, they shouldn't interact directly. There are certain things they shouldn't do with the, 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 the authority that collect tax. What we do, which is one of the departments, is what I'm targeting, if God gives us, we will have. There is an ombudsman inside it, just like any other country. Even in Nigeria, I mean, even in South Africa, Ghana, what I mean is that when there is no moderator, there, is, there must be uh, an excess in the area of the collector. Like when the when the ESC, it did not benefit the person who is heading the FRS, maybe, maybe, let me say, people will say, why come in when this Federal Land Revenue Service? They too know that they cannot cover it. A lot of things is going on, which I'm following them. So if somebody is doing something and not, is, uh, you're not making any gain, why not look at what other people are doing? Because the, in 19, 1862, before 1998, the United States was making a reform in their tax. In fact, their own was very good that they might not even need what I'm asking for. But at a particular stage, they still said no. There is so many wrongs being done to people. The area you will get tax work in when you make a person to pay his tax without asking. Enforcing tax is expensive. Why voluntary compliance is cheap. So by 1998, when the tax should come on board, there was an inspect, inspection service of uh, uh, in, in the in, uh, Internal Revenue Service of United States. And equally, in the same 1998, when they come on board, they already has, in 1951, the CID of the IRS. So they are, even have forces, which is not even existing in our Federal Revenue Service. They don't have their uh, police. They don't have separate police. They don't have uh, the people who checkmate or do you know inspection and evaluation is the key to tax. If you don't make inspection and evaluation, which is what we are coming to do, government policies may be against government or may they may be against the citizens. None of these people are supposed to be to, supposed to suffer. Because if you make government suffer, there will be no money to operate to give us those things we are asking for. And if you suffer the, the citizens too much, they will end up going to beg somebody. It will now become a discussion which will always bring obvious temptation of fraud or maybe corruption. So when you have somebody to make checks and balance, a lot of things will be put in place. Even nobody is even corrupt. The problem is you are the one who caused it. You allow them to operate and be a judge to their own case, which is not obtainable again in the world. And if you ask me, I will tell you that the tax we lose in overseas is even, it, let me say, it's even more than what we are collecting in a year. It's over 9 trillion. And I will give you, if you want it, I will show you my proof. That place is not my subject. You know why? Nigeria loves sharing. Even if the money is going to be borrowed in China, they will be sharing it here. To me, I don't want to insult anybody. It's stupidity. The state that will own the money shouldn't come into what I'm saying. There's no money to share. Who is talking about?
talking about VAT being owned by some particular people. If, on my own view, there's no Lagos without Nigerians, and there was no river state without Nigerians. Who's talking about share here? My bill is not talking about share. Let the money be available before we talk about who owns it. My own. 